wonderful masjid with this wonderful crowd of believers and innocent children to grant ease and husn al-khatima to sister Fatima B. Binti Abdul Rahim, the auntie of brother Habibullah. We ask Allah, she is in her final stages, but only Allah knows if someone is in his final stages. Could be Naza'a, could be Sakarat al Maut. So we ask Allah to ease her departure back to him. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give sabr to the family. And if Allah has written more time for her, may Allah make her happy and all her loved ones. For my sisters and brothers who worked hard on tonight's program, we ask Allah to bless them, bless their wealth, bless their minds, their health, and grant shifa to those who are sick in their family. Ameen, Ya Rabbi. May Allah give them rahmah and barakah in dunya and akhirah. All the volunteers and all the sisters who worked diligently to make this program tonight. Children, after Salat, after Salat, we all go outside, right after Salat, eh? no Sunnah. We're going to take a photo. Brother uh, Lat asked me to, all you with, with Adab, no noise, no running. We are going there, we take photo or two, and then you start your dinner, okay? So inshallah we learn first, we feed our soul and mind first, and then we pray, and then we go, take a few photos, and then start dinner. I ask Allah to bless anyone who participated in tonight's program by buying this gift for the children. Amin. Jazakumullah khairan, sisters and brothers. Okay, verse 30. 31 today, Surah al dhariyat 51, Surah al dhariyat 51, we are in page 522, 522, ready inshallah, yallaha, Some of you are not ready yet. Adults, children are ready, but adults are not. Surah al dhariyat 522. Page 522. 22. Yalla, thank you. Verse 31. Alas, are you all there? Yalla. Qala fama khatbukum ayyuhal mursaloon. Qala inna ursilna ila qawmin mujrimeen. لنرسل عليهم حجارة من طين مسومة عند ربك للمسرفين للمسرفين فأخرجنا من كان فيها من المؤمنين فما وجدنا فيها غير بيت من المسلمين وَتَرَكْنَا فِيهَا آيَةً وَتَرَكْنَا فِيهَا 
ayatan lilladhina yakhafun lilladhina yakhafun al'adhab al-alim wa fi Musa idh arsalnahu ila Fir'aun ila Fir'aun bi sultanin mubin fatawalla bi ruknih wa qala sahirun aw majnun fatawalla bi ruknihi wa qala sahirun aw majnun فأخذناه وجنوده وجنوده ها when we stop junudahu becomes junudah kitabahu becomes kitabah hmm? focus يلا focus فأخذناه وجنوده فنبذناهم فنبذناهم في اليم وهو مليم the, the, the boys are not doing good the adults are reading much better is your class or adult class? I need to hear your voices more than the adult. Yalla. Fatawalla bi ruk verse 39. Fatawalla bi ruknihi wa qala sahirun aw majnun. Nihi wa qala sahirun aw majnun. Very good. فَأَخَذْنَاهُ وَجُنُودَهُ فَنَبَذْنَاهُمْ فَنَبَذْنَاهُمْ فِي الْيَمِّ وَهُوَ مُلِيمٌ وَفِي عَادٍ وفي عاد إذ أرسلنا عليهم عليهم الريح العقيم ما تذر من شيء ما تذر من شيء أتت عليه إلا أتت عليه إلا إلا جعلته كرميم وفي ثمود إذ قيل لهم إذ قيل لهم تمتعوا تمتعوا حتى حين فعتوا عن أمر ربهم فأخذتهم الصاعقة فأخذتهم الصاعقة وهم ينظرون فما استطاعوا من قيام 
وما كانوا منتصرين فما استطاعوا من قيام من قيام وما كانوا منتصرين وقوم نوح من قبل إنهم كانوا قوما فاسقين والسماء بنيناها بأيد وإنا لموسعون والأرض فرشناها فنعم الماهدون ومن كل شيء خلقنا خلقنا زوجين لعلكم تذكرون ففروا إلى الله إني لكم منه نذير مبين ولا تجعلوا مع الله إلها آخر إني لكم منه نذير مبين Excellent, excellent, very good. Alhamdulillah. So, so far, keep it good like that. We stopped at verse 19, tafsir. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us that Uram bar taqwa, may Allah make us amongst them, the people of taqwa. What does taqwa mean, children? Who knows, children? Taqwa means what? Allah many times tells us, ittaqullah. Ittaqullah. All you who believe, have taqwa. All you believe, have taqwa. What is taqwa? Who knows among the children? Let's see. Try is okay. What is taqwa? Yes. To? To fear Allah. Good. But what, what does it mean? How to fear Allah? Takot? Takot of what? Pray five times a day. Good try. Okay. Good. What else? What is taqwa? Allah tells us those people of taqwa will be in paradise. When you? When you believe in Allah but nothing? Nothing can shake your? Your belief. Good. Okay. What else? Taqwa. We need to know what is taqwa. I explained to you many times taqwa. But what is it? Huh? Conviction. Submission. Good. You're coming. You're close. Now you're getting close. To be conscious of God. Good. Good. Who said that? Good. Sisters, what is taqwa? So only brothers answered. Does that mean brothers are trying to have taqwa but not sisters? No, I'm sure also sisters. Yalla, what is taqwa? Hajja? Very good. 
to, to try to do what Allah told you to do and stay away from what Allah told you not to do. Very good. What else? Getting closer. You need to go to Arabic to understand. Be conscious of Allah. Somebody already said that. Good. Very good. Yes. Huh? Have faith in Allah. Somebody already said that. Good. Yes, and, and the sister said, what did she say? And get scared of Allah, right? That's what one of our boys said here, yes? To do things? Good. Okay, look. Look what is done. All what you said is part of it, but it's something bigger. Number one, taqwa is not iman. Iman is something and taqwa is another thing. Okay. Iman is what we call faith. So you adhere to Islam, you call yourself Muslim. Allah calls you mu'min, inshallah. But you have to do things to be called mu'min. For example, you need to pray. You need to give zakat. You need to fast, you, give, you go to hajj. Or you try at least to. So once you start practicing Islam, you are called mu'min. But taqwa is another level. No, a, a, a piety is part of it, but it's something else. Number one is to be conscious of God, to understand that Allah is watching you. And whatever you have comes from Allah. Whatever you see belongs to Allah. You belong to Allah. Your children belong to Allah. Your family belongs to Allah. The food that you are going to eat, it is Allah who gave it to you. It is Allah who will give you cure when you get sick. So to be conscious of Allah, that is called taqwa. But you're still going to taqwa. You didn't get taqwa yet. Taqwa, Imam Ali radiallahu anhu explained it's four things. If you have four things, you have taqwa. Number one, you said it, some of you said, is to fear Allah. Fearing Allah means what Auntie Sharifa said, to do whatever Allah told you to do, as much as you can, and never come near haram. So you, that is called fear of Allah. Are you mutaqi? No, you are still one quarter. You are one quarter mutaqi. If you fear Allah and not come near haram, good. You are close to become mutaqi, but still you need three fourths. So it's al khawfu min al jalil. Wal amalu bi tanzil. Practicing Quran. Quran and Sunnah. Once you fear Allah, meaning you don't do haram, then you practice what Allah told you to do. You pray, you fast, you give zakat, you give sadaqah, you come to classes like this. Ah. Then one more thing. So you are now two quarter. الخوف من الجليل والعمل بالتنزيل والرضا بالقليل to be content lot of people lot of people don't هدا أدا رضا they are always angry more they are not satisfied and when Allah takes away something from them they are very angry very sad this means they are not رضا so once you do that, you are three quarter. One more step and you become Oran Taqwa. And straight to Jannah. Straight to Jannah. When you die, straight to Jannah. You fear Allah, you practice Quran and Sunnah, and you are content, and you are always mindful of death. You prepare for death. You talk a lot about death. And you behave as if you are dying very soon. So for example, you are not greedy, you are not hasad. Ah, you're always mindful of death. If you have these four things, then alhamdulillah, you attain the taqwa. Who can repeat them quickly? Number one, without looking. Try, try, try not to look. To fear Allah. 
What does it mean to fear Allah? To stay away from haram. That's what it means. Because Allah, we don't see him. But I can see liquor. I see girls. Right? I see money. I see fruit of the neighbor. Can I touch? Because ooh, it's tempting fruit. Huh? Second? Very good. What does it mean practice Quran and Sunnah? Learn the deen like you're doing so that you practice. Good. Number three? You have to be rida, content. Somebody give you little rice? Say Alhamdulillah. Say no, no, give me the other. Now we're going to see. When you go out, if they give you whatever give you, if rida, Alhamdulillah. You say no, no, I want the other juice. Ah. And number four? Huh? Girls, number four? Tell this to your teachers. Tell your ustaz or ustaza in school. I think now I know what is taqwa. So next time when I ask you, don't forget. I explained this a long time ago. And the fourth thing, to prepare for death. Meaning you talk a lot about death. And you are not scared if people talk about death. You actually like the subject. Today, people just talk about dunya. Dunya. Okay. So, children, Allah said, look at verse number 15. Allah said, verily the muttaqoon, meaning the people who do, who do these four things, will be in the midst of gardens and springs. Alhamdulillah, straight. Allah will give you after death, Jannah, insha'Allah. What do you have there? We said, taking joy in the things which their Lord has given to them. Anything Allah gives you make, makes you so happy. Children, He will give you so much. Now remember when I asked you yes, yeah, last week, what do you want in Jannah? And some of you said pizza, some of you said this, right? Remember? What did I say Sheikh Zubair wants? Ah, to be with Prophet Muhammad Okay, because you may get all what you want, but if you don't see the Prophet وسلم, or don't, don't, don't be with him. So they ask a alim, they ask a alim. Somebody came, some group of people came to a scholar and they said, Ya Sheikh, please tell us something that will motivate us to go to paradise. He just told them, in paradise, there will be Rasulullah sallallahu they start crying and they work very hard until they died. It's true. The only, the greatest motivation to go to Jannah is what? Is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon If you truly love him, that's where he is going to be, right? Right or wrong? Ah. So if you love him, that's where he's going to be. Firdaus. So that, that's enough motivation. That's why it's really important to love Rasulullah If you love him, you're going to be with him, inshallah. Good. So Allah will give them everything and everything that he gives them will make them happy. What else we said? Because they were muhsinun. In dunya, they were very good. Whatever they used to do, they used to do the best. Children, do you know whatever you do, if you do the best, you will be in Jannah? Your homework, you do, you do the best. You memorize Quran, you do your best. You come to class, you do your best. You come to the masjid, watch where you put your shoes. Have you seen the Muslims inside the masjid? Are organized outside the masjid, they are not? In the masjid, we are organized outside the masjid. Just look at parking on Jumu'ah and the shoes. So there is problem. And why are we organized inside the masjid? Because Rasulullah said so, said line up. If the Prophet didn't make line, we will be as disorganized as we are outside. Right or wrong? Have you thought about it? Yes. So may Allah give us ihsan. May Allah make us muhsin. Whatever you do, you do the best. You cook, you cook the best. 
You clean the dishes, you clean them the best. You clean the toilet, you really clean it until it becomes super clean. That is called ihsan. Called ihsan. So Allah said these people enter Jannah because they were very muhsin. Whatever they used to do, they used to do good. Also, we said, 17, they used to sleep little and pray a lot. Which prayer we pray at night, children? Qiyamul Layl. Optional, Sunnah. Tahajjud. So Allah says, this Oran Bir Taqwa, why? Why they were praying? Look at me here. Why do you think they were praying? Farid, why someone prays at night? Because he fears Allah. A person prays at night because he or she really fears Allah. The people who pray at night, they have special fear from Allah. That's why they disturb their sleep. Because sleep is one of those things very difficult to beat. So if a person, alhamdulillah, manages to get up at least for 10, 15 minutes, let alone one hour, two hours, three hours, Huh? Allah said, they used to sleep little of the night. And what they used to do, Sahar, near Sahur time, look what they were doing. Numbers 18, that's where we stopped. Mikael, number 18. And in the hours before dawn, they were found asking Allah subhanahu for forgiveness. I can ask Allah for forgiveness at Dhuhr. At Fajr, at Maghrib, at Asr, at Isha, like now. But what's the best? Before Fajr, Suhoor. It's called the Sahar time. Sahar is right before dawn. It's called Sahar. Children, what is Sahar? The time before? Before Fajr. Fajr, let's say it's at uh, 5.45. By 5 o'clock, it is called Sahar. And that's the time we do Sahur. When we want to fast, we eat before, before Fajr. So what do they do, those people? At Sahar, what did they do? They eat Sahur. What do they do? Ask Allah forgiveness. Astaghfirullah. Why? Why that moment? Who can tell me what's, how special that moment is? The angels are witnessing. Good. What else? Huh, children, it's your class, not adults. There is something about that time called Sahar. It's still, the night is calm right before Fajr. It's the time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes down to the first sky. And he asks, is there anyone in need? I give him his need. Nobody is asking, only few. Is there anyone sick and he wants me to cure him or her? And most people are sleeping and snoring. Is there anyone missing something and he wants it? I give it to him. So those who are making istighfar and dua, they get what they want. So that's the special time. Rasulullah Sallallahu said, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala comes down to the sky, the first sky, every night in the last third of the night. And he asked, is there anyone who has committed a sin and wants to repent? I am here to forgive him. But most sinners are snoring by that time. But those who are, Ya Allah, please forgive us, Ya Allah, please forgive us, although they are good people. Allah, Allah will increase them even in taqwa. That's where we stop. So 19. Who read last week? Boys or girls? Girls read? Yalla, ha. Ismail. 19. Very good. And in their properties, so you see the muttaqeen? The muttaqeen, 
Beside being muhsin, beside being good in what they do, beside they used to sleep less at night and pray a lot. They used to ask Allah forgiveness. They used to give a share of their income to the poor and to the beggar. There are people who are unfortunate. No matter what they do, they're going to be poor. So who helps them? Children, why Allah gives you or your father more than the poor? Why? Why you have six, seven cars and someone doesn't have even a motorbike? Very good. So that we help them. Very good. I like that. So remember that. When Allah made you rich, Alhamdulillah, live in this area, it doesn't mean Allah favored you. It means Allah wants you to help those who are not able to help themselves. Then Allah will bless you and bless your parents. Is this clear? So if someone has big salary, those who have little salaries, we should help them. Not just from the zakat. Here it's not zakat. Here said, وَفِي أَمْوَالِهِمْ And in their properties, there is haqq. For who? For the beggar, for someone who come ask you, and mahroom, somebody who is unfortunate, less, less, less than you. Good. Next ayah. 20. And on the earth are signs for those who have faith with certain Very good. On the earth, children, when we travel, what do we see? Give me something we see when we travel. What do we see? Do you travel with your parents or never? You do. So what do you see when you travel? You see nothing because you are always on your cell phones. And I blame your parents who buy you cell phones at this age. What's wrong with your parents? Why you give them cell phones at this age? That's why they don't communicate with you. What do you see when you travel? Other people, good. What else? You see the sky, good. Land. Night. Light. You see light of other cars coming. <laughs> Blurring your father's vision. Huh? Huh? Trees, very good. What do you see? Allah's creation, like what? Ocean. 